Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be about all of the grooming essentials that I have for Celine. And so if you are interested, please keep watching. And before we get into the video, as always, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump into this. I take Celine's grooming very seriously. And for those of you that may not know, because I don't have her with me right now, Celine is my three pound Yorkie. So she's, I guess people would consider her a teacup Yorkie, but um, she's a Yorkie. So she does require a lot of grooming. Most of the dogs that have longer hair or even dog fur require a good amount of grooming. And so I groom Celine myself. I do all of her grooming myself. I cut her hair. I give her baths. I cut her nails. I do her glands if she needs them. Uh, everything that needs to be her pads. Anything that may need to be groomed, I do it myself. Not because I am trying to like cut costs, even though that is a great way to cut costs. But I just, she's so small that I really don't trust anyone to groom her. There was one lady that I did trust and she moved like halfway across the country so there's no way she's gonna be able to like groom her all the time or anything but I am not a professional. Disclaimer out there before we even get into this, I am not a professional groomer. I do not do this for other dogs, for other people's dogs. Um, this is just me as a pet owner telling you how I groom my pet. So you all don't have to do this, you all don't have to use all these products, but if you are somebody who's looking into grooming your own pet, or if you're somebody who does some of the grooming and you just need some help or anything, just keep on watching. This is not, also, this is not exclusive to teacup dogs or just small dogs in general. This is for any dog, anybody with a dog can use some of these products. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start with, probably the first part of grooming, which is shampoo and conditioner. I am using the items that I use right now because they work really well with Celine's hair. Um, Celine has the wooly, like cottony, soft Yorkie coat because there's the soft coat and then there's the silky coat. And then some Yorkies have like a wiry coat, but it's mainly the traditional breed standard silky coat and then the soft fluffy like wooly coat and Celine has the wooly coat. My last Yorkie had the silky, she has the wooly and they are very different to take care of. So the products I'm using for a shampoo and conditioner are working right now. I do want to try the Espana line. I also want to try the Chris Christensen line. If any of you have Yorkies and you've used both of them, please, please, please let me know in the comments below how you like them. I always get nervous trying new products on her hair because I worry that like it's going to irritate her skin. But um those are supposed to be really good lines. So if you have used them, please let me know in the comments. I would be really appreciative. Um, and you don't have to use all these products, like I said. So the main shampoo I'm using right now is the Nudies Dermatology Solutions Soothing Aloe and Oatmeal Shampoo. If you guys can see that, yeah. And this is, it relieves itchy dry skin. It contains colloidal oatmeal, coconut oil, and ordinone. It's for dogs, cats, and horses. So it has some great benefits on the back here. If you can even see that. I'm really sorry if you can't, but basically it does not have soap. It is deodorizing. It's not super strong. So if you are sensitive to smells, you shouldn't be too bothered by it, but it's a really good, it, it smells really good. Um, it's SLS and paraben free, which those are things that Celine that came up as negatives on, or I guess positives on Celine's allergy chart. No harsh chemicals. They're safe to use with topical flea and tick products, and they're safe to use on cats and again as well as horses. I like the fact that it doesn't have soap. I've noticed that products with soap tend to irritate her skin a little bit more, so I like that it doesn't have soap in it. And I got this off of Amazon. It's 16 fluid ounces. I'll try to link as many of these products as I can below. But this is what I use for her shampoo right now. It leaves her hair so fluffy and soft and shiny. 
as shiny as it's going to be, the softer coats tend to be a little bit duller, but you know. And then for conditioner, what's been working is this Bio Silk for Dog Silk Therapy with Organic Coconut Oil. It is Conditioning Detangling Spray. And it's like a skinny bottle. It's seven fluid ounces. I also got this off of Amazon. I like this better than the other ones I have been using in the past because it does not irritate your skin and it does detangle really well. If you ever like notice if you have like a wooly um, coated dog or especially a wooly coated Yorkie, their hair tends to mat and knot up way more easily than the silkier coat, at least from my experience. It's especially transitioning from the puppy to the adult coat, it was a mess. So this actually helps a lot with that and you don't have to spray a ton and it smells really good. I love the smell of coconut and it smells good. So that's what I'm using right now. Other products that you can use that I've used before, if your dog does have like a hot spot or like an itching situation, this Fresh and Clean Skin and Coat Essentials Calming Hot Spot is very helpful. Um, Celine had a lot of itching when she was a puppy, when she was like, her hair was transitioning. I don't know if it was the seasons or her just trying to, as she grew up, getting used to the change of seasons because we have all four seasons here. But there were times where I would use this and it would go right away. I got this from Petco and it was 12 fluid. It's 12 fluid ounces. It does not have a scent to it, I believe. It's got like a very like hand soap type of scent, but it's not strong. Like it's not supposed to be like smell good. It's just supposed to help your dog out. It has Rubos tea infusion and it relieves skin issues such as hot spots, rashes, and inflammation and it drenches and soothes the skin. That is definitely true. Next one, um, Celine actually received this one, Charlie & Co. Natural Soothing Dog Shampoo. It is made in England and it smells really, really good. And it's super natural, 100% natural with organic oat. And you can get this online. I'll try to leave a link below, but it has no soaps, parabens, synthetic dyes, sulfate, or formaldehyde, or gluten in it. So I thought this was really cool. Like I said, it smells really, really good. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like a vanilla, like a cream soda. Like it, it's, it smells really good. So, and then if your dog is not fond of baths all the time, like Celine gets a bath once a week because she has hair rather than dog fur. So she gets a bath once a week. And if you have a dog that has hair, maybe they don't like getting those on baths once a week you can use something like a waterless shampoo I personally don't use them because I don't need to and I don't feel like they're entirely as effective yeah I got this from home goods for like $4.99 but I don't feel like they're as effective but this was just the Chi for Dogs keratin line the Chi for Dogs line did not work for Celine I used the entire line on her and it didn't work well for me at all so the next thing I have is an ear cleaner. I cannot for the life of me find the little pads, but by well and good, I got the ear cleaning solution. And then I also got the ear cleaning pads and the um, eye cleaning pads. And they are helpful for sensitive skin. They reduce odor and wax or any like debris that may get in their eyes, as well as the ears. They are separate pads, by the way. It's not an ear slash eye pad. Um, there's pads for the ears and pads for the eyes. And then this is the ear cleaning solution for if you need to get wax like deep down in their ears. It does not have a scent to it and it's very good for a sen sensitive skin. And these are ideal for after swimming or bathing. And like I said, I got those from Petco. Um, next thing is the paw wax. So if your dog has any type of like rough paws or they go outside a lot and you feel like they their paws just need some type of healing a wax or a butter is really great this one is by a spree it's a paw balm it's conditioning and it protects naturally 
All these ingredients are supernatural. You should know what they are on here. I don't use this one as much because after I bought it, I found that it had almond oil in it and I have an allergy to tree nuts. So I can't use this on her because it, I have to touch it. Um, but I will just open it for you all. It's It's got a little bit of, um, but that's what it looks like. So yeah, and it doesn't smell like anything, so that's good. This one has a scent to it. It is by Pet Head. It is the Oatmeal Paw Butter. It soothes and relieves dry cracked paws. So it is more of a butter. It smells so good. It smells like brown sugar oatmeal. Whoops, sorry. And I've used it on her paws before, and it just, it smells really good. It smells really good. I like to use it after I shave her pads so that she's not, it doesn't like irritate her skin. And that one has also a lot of um, very natural ingredients when I looked online. And then this is by Protect Paws Max Wax. This stuff is really good, 100% all natural. It helps protect your dog's paws against snow and ice buildup, salt burn from ice melt, heat burn from asphalt, and sand. And then it also allows them to have some more traction if it's slippery outside. 100% all natural human grade max conditioning max protection paw wax and I haven't used this one it does not smell like anything um, which is good so it doesn't irritate you or your dog and so that's just a few items you can use for your dog's pads hair 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 well before we get to hair I'll do nails I'm sorry I have stuff like everywhere over here nails so Celine's feet are like this big maybe they're this big they are so tiny so i have one of these that i bought it's just a regular nail trimmer by chi it's for small dogs but this whole opening is bigger than her entire foot and i just have a fear that i'm gonna cut her foot off one day so i do not use these i actually for those of you that didn't know i used to have three guinea pigs so i have a small animal nail trimmer i did all of their grooming at home as well and so I use this because Celine's foot is like a tad bit bigger than the guinea pig's foot and it works perfectly. This is the little opening. You guys can see it, but that's the little opening. And I would not recommend this if you don't know how to use these because you can end up stripping your dog's nail or like splitting it. So be very, very careful if you have never used these before. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I would just Proceed with caution, but because we're talking about what I use for Celine, this is what I use. It works really well. I have not split her nails because I know how to use these, but just proceed with caution if you do have a really tiny dog and you're trying to use these. If you have a small dog and you don't know how to use these and you feel like the regular dog nail trimmer is too big, you can either go, you can take them to PetSmart and get their nails trimmed or you can um, take them to your regular vet. You can take them to a groomer or you can use, especially when they're puppies because their nails are so thin, you can use a, um, a regular like human nail clipper. And that's a little bit safer than maybe something this big. But I just wanted to give you kind of those examples in case you are a little bit more experienced, you want to use one of those, there's that. Grooming her hair. I have tons of different grooming tools. This is one of these like claw, like dematting tools. I, I think I've used this once when her hair was transitioning. It just got so knotted up and I tried it and her hair is super soft. So I feel like it just like pulls her hair out. But if you have like one of those doodle mixes, I've seen some people use these. I don't, like I said, I don't use this. I've used this one time in Celine's whole life and it worked for that one time so that I didn't have to like practically give her a bald spot. And I just want to let you know that I do comb her hair every single day, at least once a day, but usually twice because I do her top knot and everything. I comb her out in the morning and then right before bed, I comb her out again. So just a little tidbit. 
and then grooming tools so i have this double-sided brush by chi it's a little travel size brush but it's selene is tiny so it's perfect the pins are on this side the bristles are on this side this is for like you know detangling and everything this is for finishing and shine and then i have a regular metal comb that we use i don't know how long this is but maybe like 13 and no it's not 13 inches i don't know how long it is but it's a regular metal comb wider teeth slimmer teeth and then i have for comparison this is a face comb slash finishing comb that most groomers use but selena is so small that it's like perfect for her so it's the same setup i guess let me just switch it. it's the same setup but this is four inches versus like this is probably around eight or nine inches so and they're metal combs by the way and then as far as her top knot goes her head is really tiny so i can only do one i would love to do pigtails but i can't so i just use her little head comb and i've showed you guys these before but these are some of the bands that i use i get these off of amazon they are orthodontic bands so like bands for braces or retainers or things but they are perfect for her hair and they don't like pull her hair out and they're like they're small enough that it can hold her band without slipping out but they're thick enough that like they're not going to pull like rip her hair out and i also have these for fun these are just regular like hair elastics i haven't used these in a while because her head is so small like she doesn't have a ton of hair on her head. It's thick. It's very thick. But considering her head is so small, it doesn't like it's not as much hair as you think. And so these are like a little bit too big. So I like to use the orthodontic bands. I get them off of Amazon. I'll link them below. Um, you guys have seen Celine's plethora of bows. She has a ton of bows. She works with bow companies. This is just one of the little bow barrettes that we use when we go out so that it doesn't slip out of her hair. And as far as keeping her hair like intact and not ripping her hair out every time I take her hair out with the bands, I like to use these band scissors. So they are curved at the end, they're not like regular scissors. And you literally take this bottom part and you lift up part of the band, pull it slightly away from the ponytail and snip it off and that way you're not pulling your dog's hair out when you like pull the band out so i like to use these as far as her regular hair trims and everything so i use a couple of different things we already did the nail clippers i use this basic series pet clipper set from wall i think that's how you say it wall it is not the best clipper set in the world. However, if you are somebody who is an amateur, you are not super experienced, you are not a professional, this is great because it does cut your dog's hair, but it also allows you to cut it safely. <laughs> there are little um, grooming guides. There's one eighth inch, one fourth inch, three eighths inch, and a half an inch. Um, I, honestly, I think I got this from Walmart. But it's very inexpensive, but it also has everything you need. It has the clippers, it has the little clips in there. And it has the oil that you use for the clippers, and then it has a little brush on it as well. So these are the clippers. And then I don't have the oil over here because it was kind of dripping, but here's a little brush. And then these are like the little clips. I use the one inch guide just because it's the lowest one and i give celine a lamb style haircut and this is just a little comb that they give you and so i like to use this and it works perfectly celine's not a huge dog but even if she was it works fine and especially getting like the closer shave it shouldn't be super you should never like shave your dog down super close especially if you don't know what you're doing I would recommend going to a professional for that, but it allows me to get a close enough shave to give her the lamb style haircut. And then for her like feathered legs and her face and everything, I use this little scissor set. It's a beginner's scissor set. So I'm sure the professionals that are watching this are probably cringing at like the, the um, clippers and stuff that I'm using, but I like using the beginner sets because again, I'm not a professional and it also like helps me keep her safe without like nicking her or anything so 
a bunch of different, um, I guess, scissors. So it comes with, I'm using this because I don't know the measurements, four and a half inch straight scissors, five and a half inch straight scissors, six and a half inch curved scissors, six and a half inch thinning scissors, a comb, which is basically like the metal comb, a cleaning cloth, and the black leather case. So this is the cleaning cloth. This is the comb. I like to clean all these out and put them back in their little cases. These are the curved scissors. Curved scissors. And I make her face like very round, so it helps for that. I don't need thinning scissors because I don't need to thin her hair out. Maybe if she was like a golden or something, but these are the thinning scissors. These are the... These should be the teeny ones, right? No. These are the five and a half inch scissors. And then these are the four and a half inch scissors. Okay. So I use those. And then I also use, so this is by Wall. This is like a, honestly, I think this is a, a nose hair trimmer. But her Feet, her pads are so little that this thing is literally perfect for how small her pads are and I just use that. It is battery powered so you just make sure you get the right batteries for it but it works really well. And then last but not least I do have another brush. I brought this brush out specifically because unlike this brush, one this is a lot bigger this is also a duo. So instead of like having the pins and the bristles on separate sides, this one has the pins and the bristles together. And I forgot to pull this up when I was doing the tool. So I apologize, but it works great. I just don't use it as much because Celine is really small. And because her back is short now, I don't have to use it on her back. I really just comb out her legs and everything and her face. And this is way too big for her legs and her face. So this is also a good option though, if you guys are looking for like a combo rather than having to do them separately, it does work pretty well. So yeah, those are the main essential items that I use for Celine's grooming. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Oh, just kidding. I have one more item. When you are doing the nails, you should always have something like styptic powder. Oh, no, I don't think you can see it, but I'll link it below. But you, you should have something called styptic powder on hand in the event that you cut the quick. The quick is the blood vessel in your dog's nail. And that's why you have to cut their nails a certain way, because if you cut them incorrectly you could hit the quick sooner than later you also want to keep them trimmed because the longer they grow the longer the quick kind of moves down the nail and it's just not fun i've gotten the quick on the guinea pigs before and they kind of winced a little bit but it's more so the blood celine um her nails are black so i've gotten the quick at least once and it started bleeding a little bit you just take a little bit of this powder and you just press it firmly against the end of the nail and that's kind of what it looks like if you can see it but it works great it stops the bleeding almost instantly and you know you just make sure you take care of their nail make sure there's no infection and just make sure it stays dry but yeah those are all of Celine's grooming essentials like I said may not be everything that you use for your dog but this is what works for us and so i hope you all enjoyed i hope this helped at least some of you if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below if i did not link something that you wanted me to link please let me know because i tend to forget things sometimes and yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video